On this Memorial Day, we want to highlight a media project that is coming up at this year's Pearl Harbor celebration. And joining us is Glenn Bolin. He's from the Saudi Daisy High School. He's with the media program there. And also James Acuff, who is a senior this year at Saudi Daisy High School, who's going to be going on the trip. Thank you guys for joining us today. Absolutely. On this Memorial Day, it's a great time to talk about honoring our military, and that's kind of what you guys are going to do with this media project. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, Rachel, we're going to be going to Pearl Harbor on Pearl Harbor Day, which is an amazing time to, uh, to go out and learn about history and find out what, what these gentlemen did for us. You know, uh, today being Memorial Day, we're going to be, you know, honoring the gentlemen who did, uh, who did give their lives for us, but more importantly, what we're going to be doing is preserving the history of this, the guys who survived. Uh, we're going to go out, uh, we're going to sit down with the, uh, the survivors. And this year is a really big year out at, uh, at Pearl Harbor. They've just completed, well, they actually will have just completed, they're doing it right now, uh, renovations to the uh, facilities. And they're expecting about 300 of the survivors, and that's about 10% of them, but that's still a large number of these guys to be in one place at one time. Absolutely. So we're going to sit down with them and just allow them to tell their story, tell what th happened to them that day. And uh, I've got a letter from the National Park Service. Nothing like this has ever been done before. Huh. And, uh, and we're, just, we're just preserving it for history. Now, the cool thing is it's going to be student-led. I've got about 40 students that are going to go. They're going to be doing the work. They're going to have that first-hand experience with these guys that is so important. You can't get that out of a book. Absolutely. And you're going to be going, James, right? You've got to be excited about this. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. And nervous. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, what will you be doing on the project specifically? Um, what us students are going to be doing is we're going to be uh, interviewing actual Pearl Harbor survivors. And uh, they're, uh, as time goes on, a lot more are dying off, so, and their stories are getting lost. So what we're trying to do is record their stories and make sure that history is preserved. Now you work, in, you are enrolled in the media department, right? So you're involved in this kind of thing daily. So are you guys going to do videography, also recordings? What kind of equipment are you taking with you? Well, I'm not sure of equipment more, but we're going to be uh, just interviewing uh, a diff different survivors and uh, just setting up around Pearl Harbor, getting some footage of it. This is coming up pretty soon, and of course we need funding for this. Absolutely. You're taking like 40 kids to go. Right. And this uh, is going to cost some money just on the airfare alone. Sure, sure. We're talking just for the students' airfare is going to be, you know, forty-five thousand dollars. So uh, we it's coming up in December. We've got to have everything paid for by November. Uh, we do have several. Um, fundraisers that are planned. One of those, and, and I wish I would brought it in, I've got uh, two flags that have flown over the Arizona last December 7th and a couple of uh, books that tell the history that are autographed by the author and some of the survivors out there, So, uh, which feeds one of the fundraisers, which is going to be an auction. Uh, that date I do have is uh, July 31st. It'll be the first weekend or the last Saturday before school starts back. So we're collecting stuff for that now. We've got a lot of stuff uh, planned, different different events, and those are all on our Facebook page, if I can say that. Sure, go ahead. Uh, it's uh, SDHS Pearl Harbor Preservation Project is the Facebook page. And uh, so there's there's information on there on exactly, you know, what we're doing, a little bit more than what we've had time to talk about And we about would love morning. sponsors, right? Absolutely. And uh, they can get a hold of me through the Facebook page. They can call my number. Uh, that's... Uh, 902-0917. And get in is, touch with you guys Yeah, that way. call me directly. That's my cell phone number. Uh, be glad to, to do sponsorships or anything that, uh, that folks, you know, if, there's, if there are Pearl Harbor survivors that are out there, families that are connected to this, we'd like to get them involved on a local level as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And of sure. course, all that information you can get at the Facebook page. Let's put the information on the screen for you now because this Pearl Harbor Media Project is coming up in December. We need to have it all paid for and ready to go in November. About 40 local students are going to go and do this project. So we're hoping you'll support them. Saudi Daisy High School is where we're taking this place. And here's the phone number you can call if you want to reach Glenn. 902 917 Or you can go to the Facebook page, which is... Pearl Harbor, or it's SDHS Pearl Harbor Preservation Project. 
that's the Facebook page. All right, and all the information will be there as well. And of course, we're going to have these guys back when it gets a little bit closer, tell you what we're doing, for more about the fundraisers that are coming up and how you can help. But again, go to the Facebook page and you can help them out now with some sponsorships. Or if you uh, are, have family members that were involved in this, we want to hear from you too at Pearl Harbor. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. We appreciate it. Thank you. Wish you the best of luck. Stay with us. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back on this Memorial Day.